<laughs> oh, that is awesome! I replaced Jack with pipe wire, and this is what happened. Hey, I'm Alpha. A lot of you have requested that I install pipe wire and see how does it work for audio production. I have done that some time ago and it didn't work very well, but you keep requesting it, so here it is. Here is my normal setup using Jack and I can play music from Ardor using the Jack backend. You can see this is Jack. The music is playing. The transport is moving. It works. Okay, now let's replace Jack with pipe wire and see what happens. So let me install a package. Let's go. Pipe wire. What do we have here? Pipe wire jack drop in. I think that's what I need. Pipe wire. Yay. Okay, pipe wire jack drop in. A lot of people have installed this. I think that's gonna be this. Let's install. Oh wait, one more thing before I do that is I need to <laughs> have a backup. So time shift create comments before replacing jack with pipe wire and I have a backup now so if I mess up my system beyond repair I can just roll back okay let's install this mm -hmm. and yep It's installed. So, what do I do now? If I stop, I'm gonna disconnect from Jack. And um, okay, there. I think there is some command line interface for PipeWire. Uh, PW Jack. Not sure what that does. Use pipe wire instead of okay, so that I'm gonna go PW Jack and now you uh, oh, and I'll, I'll run Ardor OPT Ardor uh, 6.9 bin Ardor Ardor. Wait, oh no, okay, Ardor 6. All right, I'm gonna close this instance of Ardor. Just quit. And now let's run it through PW Jack. So it should. I think what it does is it replaces some library paths to provide the PipeWire supplied versions of Jack libraries. So that Ardor thinks it's using Jack, but it's using libraries that are actually PipeWire libraries. And it's going to use PipeWire instead of Jack because of that. Okay, are we running on PipeWire? I don't really know. Let's try and find out. PW... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use this screen. PW top? Dummy driver. Okay, there is Ardor. There is Ardor listed in PipeWire top so um, the program that is monitoring load let's see if it plays music okay I have no audio output but I see that my master bus is not assigned to anything so let's see uh, oh I have no outputs Uh, there's nothing I can send my signal to. I'm gonna try and run Carla. Okay, so um, PW Jack 
Carla. Let's see. Lipjack SO0 loaded successfully. All right, so this should be using pipe wire. Okay, I think it is using pipe wire because it's as ardor, but there's <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> I okay, so uh, <laughs> I have ardor running through pipe wire, but I don't. Okay, maybe I'll. St oh, I know because I had Jack, original Jack, running, and that has probably caused pipe wire to be unable to access the sound card. And I think I also need to install pipe wire pulse audio. Okay, pulse. Pipe wire. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Pipe wire pulse. Is there also like a drop-in replacement package? Pipe wire jack. Okay, I think no. I, I think I just need to install pipe wire pulse audio and maybe I don't need to use AUR. Maybe these packages are also in the main repositories. I don't know. Let's see. Pipe wire jack, pipe wire alsa, pipe wire pulse. Okay, let's install all of these and just have everything covered. Okay. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try do this through the terminal. So pacman s pipe wire dash pulse audio or oh, pulse. Oh, I'm able to lock the database. Ah, remove pulse audio. Yes, remove. Yes. Okay. All right, so I need to first delete all the packages regarding pulse audio because otherwise so I'm going to pacman r pulse audio ester. Oh, shit. Okay. Pulse audio. Okay, so I will just delete all of these packages. So pacman dash r, I'm going to paste these names. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks like I'll have to remove one at a time. Manjaro pulse. Okay, so Manjaro pulse Pacman R. Yes. Great. Let's now remove this. Yes. Let's now try to remove these. Okay. Yep. All right, let's see if I can already install. Um, Pipewire pulse. Remove. Pulse audio, yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So I replaced pulse audio with pipe wire now. <sighs> so I'm going to kill pipe pulse audio. Pulse audio. Oh, okay. Not as car. Uh, pulse audio CTL. What is that? I recorded PCM devices. Ah. Pulse audio dash K. Oh, it doesn't exist. Okay. P kill pulse audio. All right. I think that did it. Uh, hey, <laughs> let's see. All right. So we have Carla dummy driver. Okay. Maybe I can stop and restart pipe wire because the Audio device, or how do I select audio device in Piper? Okay, PWCLI, okay. Uh, unsupported type Pipewire interface plot profiler. Remote service name Pipewire 0. Help? Uh, destroy a global object. What if I just stop Pipewire and try to restart it? PGREP Pipewire. Okay, there is a process named pipe where I'm gonna kill it. pkill dash nine in case it's resistive. Alrighty. Okay, I've killed pipe wire and Carla says Jack has stopped. That is correct because. But Ardor doesn't give a shit. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect from. Or Jack or whatever it is. All right, let's try pipe. I'm gonna see again. Maybe it restarted. Yes, it's restarted. 
All right, let's try again. Is there PW top dummy driver? I want to use a device. Uh, not sure how I point it to the. Okay, Ardor has frozen. Let's kill it. P kill Ardor. Great. P kill Carla. Okay, we've killed everything. How do I configure? Hmm. Okay, PWs. Let's see what we have. PW monitor. Pipewire interface. Free will driver. Great. Dummy driver. I would like to have an actual physical device connected because, you know, that's the, old, the whole point to play sound through a physical device. Uh, how do I change the device? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just restart the, the computer and see what happens. Uh, also, shouldn't the, the, the pipe wire drop in? Make everything run through jack, even if I don't use the PW jack way of running it. I'm gonna try and do that. Carla, I'm gonna start Carla normally. Oh, what that means. Something's wrong. Okay, let me just close Rocket Chat because it keeps showing me notifications. Juice, PW, okay, PW top. There's Carla. Aha! So, Pipewire Jack drop in makes everything use Pipewire even if it would normally use Jack. Okay, now let's restart the computer, reboot, and see what happens after that because I can't figure out how to get any sound from Pipewire. I have sound devices, I have a built in sound card. I have screens, HDMI screens with speakers in them. I have a USB audio interface and I can't hear anything. It, Pipewire doesn't seem to detect any audio devices. So I'm now rebooting and we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll see some Pipewire related info in the system D startup. I think it would have already happened if it were to happen. Okay, let's see what happens. Do I have sound? Okay, I have something. I don't know if it's pipe wire or is it pulse audio or what is it? I do have some... Oh okay, yeah, there's a webcam input as well. Let's just start PW mon. No, PW top. Okay. Also out. Hey, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of outputs and inputs. I'm going to start Carla and see what happens. Patch Bay. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. There is, oh, there are all the devices, all the audio devices in here. All at once. There is my USB audio interface, there is the webcam input, and there is HDMI. Actually two HDMI inputs. Or actually these are inputs of monitors. So these are monitors, so these don't really matter. This is just the feedback of the, the output of the input. But there is output. Okay, let's see if I can hear my front left is that the microphone ha huh? oh i can hear myself let's turn up the gain okay it works <laughs> oh, sorry that distorts <laughs> i have input from that okay let's see if i can actually feed the input from <laughs> now i have sound from this camera 
Oh, wow. I, ne I never, I was never be able to do this kind of stuff with Jack. Actually, I could do it with also in and also out programs, but that would take a lot of command line work and scripting. That is really cool. Okay, now I should also be able to route sound output like from microphone to the screens, the HDMI displays. Huh? Oh, oh, sorry, that's not it. This is the input. Huh? <laughs> yes, it works. And the second one? Huh? I can turn up the output volume. HDMI display. Oh, and it shows the output volume. Uh, what is that? Pro audio. Uh, Whoa! What is pro audio? There's a lot of things going on. I know what is that. That is... That's the surround sound output. And I have all the ports. That is neat. Ah, uh, okay, so Starship Matty's HD audio control. This is my... All right. I want HDMI. Ha, ha, ha. Where's the HDMI? Okay, Elsmer. Stereo monitor, no, analog stereo. Ha, ha. Oh yeah, that works. I have sound from the screen. That is actually really cool because for audio production I could have like a bunch of devices connected and then just be able to monitor what I'm doing, like listen to the music I'm making through all the different devices very easily. Just switch between them because they all are supported. All right, but the big question is, can I load my Ardor session and actually play sound and record sound and record MIDI and play MIDI and then can I record my display? Can I do screen capture with audio using OBS via pipe wire? Because if I do, I may consider keeping this setup for a time being to see if I can use it in production. I don't expect it to work because it did not work the last time I tried it, but let's do it. I'm gonna start Ardor. I'm gonna open up this PW monitor and just, sorry, PW top and see what happens, what, what is there. And right now we can see there is a bunch of stuff. I, there is the freewheel driver. The last time I tried it, there was no freewheeling option in Pipewire. That meant whenever I tried to export a project from Ardor, Ardor would just crash. Because Ardor requires the freewheeling option in Jack to actually render out the session because it kind of disables syncing the audio processing to sound card clock and it just processes it as fast as the CPU can handle it. And that's how freewheeling works. And it uses that to render sound. And if it can do that, it just crashes because it's like, oh, Jack can do this because Ardor still believes it's using Jack. Pipewire is just impersonating Jack in here. All right, here we have Ardor. And it loaded the session. Uh, uh, that's the moment of truth, I guess. Let's see if I have any audio outputs now. Okay, I have some master audio output. Let's see. Whoa, there's a lot of outputs. Let's open the routing grid. Hardware. Okay, I have stereo playback from this thing, from the screen, and from the from the motherboard's built-in audio interface. Let's try this and see what happens. It works! What the hell? It works! What? <laughs> okay, let's let's change the output device. What about this? <laughs> it just works. <laughs> it 
<laughs> That's awesome! Oh my! It, it really works. Oh, there's also volume here. Okay, you can turn it up all the way. What if I do this? Okay, so this is like the default. Ah, okay. So this is the pulse audio part of Plasma, which is interfacing with Pipewire. It thinks it's talking to pulse audio, but it's talking to Pipewire. So this is what my system sounds will do. But if I... Okay, now oh, it plays. That's new. When I tested this a few weeks ago, it did not work. The playhead would stuck or just drift all around like do very weird things like this and then just go there and just nah wouldn't play okay can i record some audio that is a big question to him for me can i record sound ha first recording of my speech testing recording via pipe wire I'm recording this through pipe wire into Ardor. And Ardor thinks it's using Jack, but it's not Jack, it's pipe wire. Yeah. All right. Hmm, there's buffer sizes. Okay, it, it recorded. This is the playback though. I don't hear anything. Oh, that's weird. What's, what's going on? Oh, ah, okay, okay. It, everything is fine. It's just my master bus has automation. It works. And I don't hear any dropouts or anything. Okay, but the, the latency is quite high because there is... The, the buffer is 1024. You can see in this PW top program, we have the quant, or I don't know what is this, but this is the buffer size, I'm sure. This is the, oh my goodness, every single thing can run at a different sampling rate. And a different buffer size? That's pretty crazy. I don't really know what's that all about. It's kind of weird. But okay, let's, let's do it. Oh, by the way, I could try and connect the cam link 4K and see if I, if I can get some, uh, oh, someone's calling me. Okay, so where were we? Ah, if can I have can I have uh, HDMI input from Yeah, let's see I have the camera Connected I can pull in the HDMI cable Okay, it's a little bit short Let me pull it from a different direction Okay Okay, now I've connected... Okay, it doesn't light up. Well, now it lights up. Is it detected? Oh! Something appeared. Video for Linux input. Okay, so now I have two video for Linux inputs. Let's see what shows up in Carla. Okay, I have 8D Pro Webcam. Camlink, Camlink 4K. All right, it exists, but it does not feed me any audio. Well, okay, that's still better than nothing. I'm gonna disconnect it. Uh, all right, so the question now is, can I do screen capture and can I change the buffer size? Here in Carla, I have a buffer size. I can, okay, I can't change it here. I'll see if I can change it in Ardor and if it will actually affect the, the latency. So I'm going to go audio MIDI setup and here is also a way to change. The... So let's try and do 256. Okay, it says it changed. And indeed it changed. Ardor and the UMC the, my USB audio interface both now have the buffer size of 256. That's smart. That is smart. So it changes the it changes the buffer all the way upstream so that the latency actually can be lower. Let's see if that actually happens. I'm gonna try and record something and listen to the to the monitoring. Huh? 
a testing a Okay, this is, this is definitely a lower latency. Let's see how low can I go. C4. Oh, I had it. That's, that was weird. Holy snap, it works. Can I play a synth? Give me a... Okay. MIDI... Oh, okay, okay, that's loud. All right, let me go to preferences and change the MIDI devices port config. MIDI inputs, music data, follow selection. Yes, please. Now. works it passes through both audio and MIDI and it's it's low latency I'm at 64 buffer frames and DSP is at 30% that is quite that's really fast let's let's go lower let's go 32 samples 0 0.7 milliseconds of internal latency DSP at 40 okay 40-50% Okay, now it starts chugging Yeah, we are having X runs, but this is crazy low. I never work with this buffer size. This is 32 samples 128 samples, which is under 3 milliseconds I'll see if I can just play this piece now. Ha! <laughs> okay, I'll mute this. DSP at 30% tops. That is nice. Let's go to 64 samples and see if it manages to do that. Okay, we have some, some extra ones. I'm hearing clicks. Yeah. But again, 64 samples is crazy low. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna, okay, no, maybe not. I'm gonna leave this on and I'm gonna start my usual recording setup. And I'm gonna see if that actually works. I'm gonna roll down green screen just to make sure it works perfectly. Okay, green screen works. Just the camera angle is a bit whack. I can fix that. All right, do I have audio? I do have my voice capture. Do, do I have audio capture from Ardor? <laughs> I do! <laughs> okay, let's try record something. Hey! It's Anfa, and this is the first ever video recorded using Pipewire as a drop-in replacement for Jack. Quite crazy, isn't it? Because it freaking works. <laughs> oh my goodness! This... Uh, that's the most unexpected out outcome. I... I did not expect I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to end up actually keeping pipe wire on my production setup, you know? But it freaking works. <laughs> <laughs>
That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. I would also like to thank all the fine people who are supporting my work financially. Because of them, I am able to keep making these videos. If you would like to join them, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa, where you can support me with a monthly donation. Thanks. Now go and replace Jack with Pipewire! <laughs> Ah, oh, so cool. He's calling me again. Hello, Pania.